some experts has uh, have their own approach but yeah i will i will follow for the base case the tarek ahmed approach okay so first we need to calculate the normalized water saturation okay normalized water saturation for each core sample we call this sw star okay and the the calculation is very 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 easy water saturation minus kona water saturation divided by one minus water saturation minus critical oil saturation or residual oil saturation and it's easy okay for core a and core b we do not use 0 0.20 because the conat water saturation start from 0 0.25 right okay and then we just use this formula okay i take the water saturation from this column Conat water saturation from this data, okay, 0 0.25 minus 1 minus Conat water saturation minus residual oil saturation. And don't forget to use dollars because we will use that value again and again. Okay, so we get that and then we just drag like this. Okay, the same approach we do for core sample A, B, and C. And here I take this, okay, from the given data that I show you earlier here. Okay, so I just copy and then paste here, okay, to make me more comfortable to take this data. Okay, so it's very easy. SWC, SOC already provided. And most of the time you will know based on the skull report. Okay, so we get the normalized water saturation that we will use for the subsequent calculations. Okay, second step, set step two. Determine relative permeability values at critical saturation for each core sample. And we already know that, right, from the data given. So here, the, the relative permeability at critical saturation, it means relative permeability of oil at conat water saturation and vice versa the relative permeability of water at residual oil saturation and it's very easy we just take from the data given so the maximum oil relative permeability will occur at conat water saturation and that's why the value is 0 0.85 and on the other hand, the maximum water relative permeability will occur at residual oil saturation, which is 0 0.4 from the data given. Okay, so that's why I use yellow color here to make it easier for me to distinguish the relative permeability at critical saturation. Okay, so you get this value, very easy. And then we get this, okay? We need to calculate relative permeability of oil bar, there the bar, it means it's average at SWC, conat water saturation, and vice versa, the average relative permeability of oil at residual oil saturation. 